In 2009, the case against the state by the Tete settlers was dismissed. Since then, they have sought UN assistance on humanitarian grounds. The settlers say their leaders have not been too supportive since the 2008 incident. Uh, Department of uh, Community Development, uh, some uh, uh, all uh, other organizations where Inaplo come supporting me, play, Inu even come supporting me, play, sleep, get up, blow me, play, no, tete, yeah, eminu, good, play. So, and then it's a humanitarian uh, side, and I'm lodging this complaint. For the last, I'm a CS, I'm a staff, I'm a tete, I'm a tete, I'm a struggle, I'm a building all this la homes. Plo, plan. Now, in, within little time, that's all you come now. Rousey Mulgara, something now, and you know, even come back helping me plan. They fight for government assistance to provide shelter and bring essential services continues. The question they've been raising since is when will the government come forward and assist all those who were victim to property destruction then? Goelala MP Daniel Mona early this week confirmed he has been in touch with leaders in the nation's capital to discuss marginalism issues involving his people in the city. He has pledged to assist the Tete settlers with their 2008 case. Also, he will set up legal aid for those who have been wrongly convicted and those whose properties have been burned or destroyed. I will try my best to support the, the court case because we all came to Port Mosby as citizens of this country and uh, for government to come and possibly evict us, uh, we need that issue to be addressed at a political level between me as an MP from Central Province and NCD. Uh, by law, uh, I can speak in NCD because by law, Port Mosby is my capital city Amen. and I have all the right to speak. If government went to their own laws and made Mosby the city of uh, the national capital, they never removed Port Mosby as the capital of Central Province. So my jurisdiction is also covered in NCD. Mr. Mona is appealing to all NCD residents not to take matters into their own hands, but to address issues in a lawful manner. Salome Vincent, National MTV News.